Hello and welcome to our channel. Today we are going to talk about the universal principles for successful dog training. As a dog owner, it is important to train your dog to behave well, follow commands and be a good companion. But how do we train our dogs effectively and efficiently? We will cover the principles that you can apply to any dog training program to achieve the desired results. Principle number 1 Positive Reinforcement Positive reinforcement is a crucial aspect of dog training. It involves rewarding your dog for good behavior rather than punishing them for bad behavior. This encourages your dog to repeat the good behavior and over time, it becomes a habit. Rewards can be in the form of treats, praise or playtime. Remember to be consistent and timely with your rewards. This means rewarding your dog immediately after the desired behavior occurs. Positive reinforcement is a foundational principle of dog training that is used to reinforce and strengthen good behavior. It involves rewarding your dog for exhibiting a desirable behavior or action by offering them something that they find pleasurable. This could be in the form of a treat, praise, or a favorite toy. The goal of positive reinforcement is to encourage your dog to repeat the good behavior in the future. By rewarding your dog for a specific action, you are communicating to them that this is the behavior you want them to continue exhibiting. Over time, the dog learns that they will receive a reward when they display the desired behavior, which encourages them to repeat it. When it comes to positive reinforcement, it is important to be consistent and timely with rewards. This means rewarding your dog immediately after they exhibit the desired behavior. This way, the dog can make a clear connection between their behavior and the reward they receive. For example, if you are teaching your dog to sit, it is important to reward them as soon as their bottom touches the ground, rather than waiting for them to stand up again. Rewards can be anything that your dog finds pleasurable, such as food, praise, playtime, or even a favorite toy. It is important to find what works best for your individual dog, as different dogs will respond differently to different types of rewards. Positive reinforcement is an effective method of dog training because it creates a positive association between the desired behavior and the reward. It also helps to build trust and strengthen the bond between the dog and their owner, as the dog learns that good behavior results in positive outcomes. In contrast, punishment-based training methods can have negative consequences, such as damaging the trust between the dog and their owner, increasing fear and anxiety in the dog, and even leading to aggressive behavior. Overall, positive reinforcement is an essential principle of dog training that can help to build a strong, trusting relationship between you and your dog. By consistently rewarding good behavior, you can encourage your dog to repeat it and create a happy, well-behaved companion. Principle number two, consistency. Consistency is key to successful dog training. Dogs thrive on routines and predictability. This means using the same commands, rewards and training techniques throughout the training program. This will prevent confusion and ensure that your dog understands what is expected of them. Consistency also means that everyone in the household should be on the same page when it comes to training your dog. This will prevent mixed messages from confusing your dog. Consistency is an essential principle in dog training that involves using the same commands, rewards, and training techniques throughout the training program. Consistency is essential because dogs learn through repetition and consistency, and they thrive on routines and predictability. When you use the same commands and rewards, your dog will quickly learn what is expected of them and respond appropriately. Consistency also means that everyone in the household should be on the same page when it comes to training your dog. This is important because mixed messages from different family members can confuse your dog, making training more challenging. For example, if one family member rewards the dog for jumping on them while another family member scolds the dog for the same behavior, the dog will be confused and unsure about what is expected of them. Another aspect of consistency in dog training is the use of the same training techniques. If you use positive reinforcement techniques, such as giving treats or praise for good behavior, be consistent in using those techniques throughout the training program. If you use punishment techniques, such as withholding treats or using a stern tone of voice, be consistent in using those techniques as well. Consistency also applies to the timing and frequency of training sessions. You should aim to train your dog at the same time every day, so they know what to expect and when. Consistent training sessions help your dog establish a routine and become more receptive to learning. Consistency is key to successful dog training. 
It involves using the same commands, rewards, and training techniques throughout the training program, ensuring everyone in the household is on the same page, and having consistent timing and frequency of training sessions. With consistency, your dog will quickly learn what is expected of them and respond appropriately, making training more effective and enjoyable for both you and your furry friend. Principle number three, patience. Patience is a virtue when it comes to dog training. Dogs learn at different rates, and it is important to be patient with them. Training your dog takes time, and progress may not be noticeable right away. Remember that your dog is trying their best to understand what you want them to do. Celebrate small victories along the way and don't give up on your dog. Principle number three in dog training emphasizes the importance of patience. As a dog owner or trainer, it is essential to understand that every dog learns at their own pace. Some may learn quickly, while others may take more time. Therefore, it is crucial to be patient with your dog throughout the training process. One reason why patience is important in dog training is that it helps you avoid becoming frustrated or angry with your dog. When you lose patience, you may resort to using harsh training methods, which could be counterproductive and lead to negative consequences. It could also damage your relationship with your dog, making it difficult for them to trust and obey you in the future. Another reason why patience is essential is that it helps you to stay consistent in your training efforts. Dogs need repetition to learn and understand commands. When you are patient, you can provide consistent training sessions that help your dog understand what is expected of them. Consistent training sessions are essential for building good habits in your dog. It is important to note that progress in dog training may not be noticeable right away. Therefore, Patience is crucial as it helps you to keep a positive attitude and keep working with your dog, even when progress seems slow. Remember that your dog is doing their best to understand what you want them to do. Celebrate small victories along the way, such as when your dog responds to a command or demonstrates good behavior. Patience is a crucial virtue in dog training. It helps you avoid frustration and maintain consistency in your training efforts. It also helps you stay positive and celebrate small victories along the way. Remember to be patient with your dog and give them time to learn and understand what you want them to do. With patience and consistent training, you can help your dog become a well-behaved and obedient companion. Principle number four, clear communication. Dogs do not understand our language, so it is important to communicate with them in a way that they understand. Use clear and concise commands that your dog can associate with a particular action. For example, use, sit, instead of, sit down. Nonverbal communication is also essential. Use hand signals or body language to reinforce the command. Consistency in communication is also important. Use the same tone of voice and body language every time you give a command. Effective communication is a crucial aspect of successful dog training, and clear communication is one of the key principles of being a good host to your furry friend. Dogs are intelligent animals, but they do not understand human language as we do, so it's essential to communicate with them in a way that they can comprehend. Using clear and concise commands is an effective way to communicate with your dog. Avoid using complex sentences or unfamiliar words that your dog may not understand. Instead, keep it simple and use short and straightforward commands that your dog can associate with a particular action. For example, use, sit, instead of, sit down or, please take a seat. This way, your dog will be able to understand what you want them to do and will be more likely to respond appropriately. Nonverbal communication is also a vital aspect of clear communication with your dog. Dogs are experts at reading body language, so use hand signals or body language to reinforce your commands. For instance, when you say, sit, raise your hand and point your index finger to the ground to signal to your dog to sit. This way, your dog can understand what you want them to do even if they don't understand the verbal command. Consistency in communication is crucial when training your dog. Use the same tone of voice and body language every time you give a command. For example, if you say, sit, in a high-pitched tone today, and tomorrow you say, sit, in a low-pitched tone, your dog may become confused and not understand what you want them to do. Being consistent in your communication helps your dog to learn and understand what is expected of them. Clear communication is one of the most important principles of being a good host to your dog. Use clear and concise commands, nonverbal communication, and consistency in your communication to help your furry friend understand what you want them to do. 
With effective communication, you'll be able to build a strong bond with your dog and enjoy a happy and fulfilling relationship. Principle number 5 Socialization Socialization is an essential aspect of dog training. Socializing your dog means exposing them to different people, animals and environments. This helps your dog become comfortable in different situations and reduces their fear and anxiety. Socialization should begin at a young age and continue throughout your dog's life. This will help them become well-rounded and confident companions. Socialization is crucial in helping dogs to develop a well-balanced and confident temperament. It involves exposing your dog to a wide range of experiences, such as meeting new people, encountering different animals, and exploring new environments. The process of socialization should begin when your dog is still a puppy and continue throughout their life, as ongoing exposure to new experiences helps dogs to maintain their social skills and confidence. One of the main benefits of socializing your dog is that it helps to reduce their fear and anxiety in unfamiliar situations. When a dog is exposed to new people, animals, and environments from a young age, they learn to accept these experiences as normal and not something to be afraid of. This can help to prevent behavioral problems such as aggression, fearfulness, and anxiety later in life. Another benefit of socialization is that it helps dogs to become comfortable with different types of people, including children, seniors, and people with disabilities. This is particularly important if you plan to take your dog out in public or if you have guests visiting your home. Socialization also helps dogs to learn appropriate behavior around other animals, such as not chasing or attacking them. Socializing your dog also helps to improve their communication skills, as they learn to read the body language of other animals and people. This can help them to avoid potentially dangerous situations and interact with other dogs and people in a positive and respectful manner. It's important to note that socialization should be done in a safe and controlled manner, with supervision from a responsible adult. Puppies should be introduced to new experiences gradually, starting with low-stress situations and gradually building up to more challenging situations. It's also important to ensure that your dog is up to date on their vaccinations before exposing them to other dogs or animals. Socialization is an essential aspect of dog training, helping dogs to become well-rounded, confident, and happy companions. By exposing your dog to a variety of people, animals, and environments, you can help them to develop the social skills they need to navigate the world with ease. Principle number six, exercise. Exercise is important for your dog's physical and mental health. Regular exercise can help reduce your dog's stress and anxiety, and also helps to prevent destructive behavior. It is important to give your dog enough exercise each day, depending on their breed and age. Exercise can include walks, playtime, or training activities. Remember to make exercise fun and engaging for your dog. Exercise is an essential part of your dog's life, and it is critical to their overall well-being. Regular exercise helps to maintain your dog's physical health, builds strong bones and muscles, and keeps them at a healthy weight. Moreover, exercise also provides mental stimulation and helps to prevent boredom, which can lead to destructive behaviors like chewing and digging. The amount of exercise your dog needs will vary depending on their breed, age, size, and health status. For example, high-energy breeds like Border Collies, Huskies, and Retrievers require more exercise than smaller, low-energy breeds like Bulldogs or Pugs. Similarly, puppies and senior dogs may have different exercise needs than adult dogs. It is essential to consult with your veterinarian to determine the appropriate amount and type of exercise for your dog. There are many ways to provide exercise for your dog, and it is essential to make it fun and engaging for them. Going for daily walks is an excellent way to provide both physical and mental stimulation for your dog. Walking allows your dog to explore their environment and socialize with other dogs and people. If your dog is highly active, you may need to increase the frequency or intensity of the walks, or consider alternative activities like jogging or hiking. Playing with your dog is another great way to provide exercise and mental stimulation. Fetch, tug of war, and hide and seek are all fun games that you can play with your dog. You can also consider training activities like agility or obedience training, which provide both physical and mental challenges for your dog. Regular exercise is critical to your dog's physical and mental health. By providing your dog with appropriate amounts and types of exercise, you can reduce their stress and anxiety prevent destructive behaviors, and promote a happy and healthy life.
Remember to consult with your veterinarian and make exercise fun and engaging for your dog. Principle Hashtag 7, Safety. Safety is paramount when it comes to dog training. Make sure that your training techniques are safe and humane. Avoid using punishment-based methods, such as hitting or shouting at your dog. This can damage the trust between you and your dog and lead to further behavioral problems. Always supervise your dog during training and keep them away from dangerous situations. As a dog owner, ensuring your dog's safety during training is crucial. Safety should always be your top priority when teaching your dog new behaviors or correcting unwanted behaviors. Principle Hashtag 7 of Responsible Dog Training emphasizes that safety should always be considered when working with dogs. The following are some additional points to consider regarding safety during dog training. Choose safe training tools and equipment. When selecting training tools such as leashes, collars, and harnesses, make sure they are safe for your dog. Avoid using collars that can choke your dog and harnesses that can cause injuries. Also, ensure that the equipment fits your dog correctly and is not too tight or too loose. Supervise your dog during training. Always supervise your dog during training sessions to ensure their safety. This is especially important when teaching your dog new behaviors that involve physical activities such as jumping, running, or climbing. Always keep an eye on your dog and intervene if necessary. Keep your dog away from dangerous situations. Dogs can be curious and adventurous, which can sometimes lead them into dangerous situations. When training outdoors, make sure your dog is in a safe and secure area where they cannot escape or come into contact with hazards such as traffic or poisonous plants. Use positive reinforcement. Positive reinforcement is an effective and humane way to train your dog. By rewarding your dog's good behavior with treats, praise, or playtime, you can build a strong bond with your dog and reinforce desirable behaviors. This approach is also less likely to lead to aggressive or fearful behavior in dogs. Avoid punishment-based methods. Punishment-based methods such as hitting, shouting, or using shock collars can cause fear, anxiety, and aggression in dogs. These methods can also damage the trust between you and your dog, making it harder to train them in the future. Instead, Focus on positive reinforcement and use gentle corrections when necessary. By prioritizing safety during training and using humane training techniques, you can ensure that your dog learns new behaviors while feeling secure and happy. Remember, a well-trained dog is a happy and well-adjusted dog, so always be patient, consistent, and kind in your approach. Principle Hashtag 8, Understanding Your Dog Finally, understanding your dog is crucial to successful dog training. Dogs have different personalities and temperaments, and what works for one dog may not work for another. Understanding your dog's breed, age, and past experiences can also help you tailor your training program to suit their needs. For example, some breeds are more independent and may require more reinforcement for certain behaviors, while others may be more eager to please and require less. Knowing your dog's past experiences, such as any trauma or abuse, can also help you understand their behavior and work with them in a compassionate and effective way. To summarize, the universal principles for successful dog training include positive reinforcement, consistency, patience, clear communication, socialization, exercise, safety, and understanding your dog. By applying these principles to your training program, you can build a strong and positive relationship with your dog and help them become a well-behaved and happy companion. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching, and we hope you found these principles helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos on dog training and care. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments section below. We love hearing from our viewers.